la rumba me está llamando. Bongo, dile que ya voy. You know, how difficult is it for you to deal with the, the content of your father as a, a pimp and, and your mother as a prostitute in the story? Growing up, that was something that was known in our house, mm -hmm. that my mother spoke about. You know, she had no shame about it, and she didn't want us to have any shame about it. She said, this is who I am, this is what I've done. If anybody comes, you say, I know. And my father, you know, for him, prostitution was a business. The whole piece is all about me wanting to have this relationship with my father, or the man that I call my father, and which is in question throughout the whole piece, because my mother said it was somebody else, and then, but this was the man that, that I called Papi. I grew up on the border of Harlem and Spanish Harlem. So I had the best of both ghettos. My mother was black and my father was Puerto Rican. I like to think of myself as a little cafe con leche. My mother was a prostitute. Not to be confused with your everyday, ordinary, common, crack, how? See, mommy was more of a Barbara Streisand, I mean a Barbara Stanwyck kind of hoe. <laughs> Only she was high yellow, wore a babushka around her head, was about 100 pounds heavier, and sucked on her paw mall. and was brutally honest. <laughs> now, Poppy, oh, Poppy was a dashing Puerto Rican Errol Flynn with the grace, charm, and elegance of Cary Grant in his 60s when he was married to Diane Cannon in her 20s. <laughs> <laughs> See, Poppy, Poppy hooked up with Mommy when he was 34 and she was 14. Oh, go ahead, do the math. All right. <laughs> and mommy had me when she was 30 and poppy was 50. Mommy decided to leave poppy and the oldest profession during her first trimester carrying me, which wreaked havoc and cast doubt on who was my daddy. The story that you are about to witness is my childhood adventure. My personal quest to show that Poppy was my father, despite any of mommy's claims to the contrary. <laughs> Poppy, take me to the Bronx, okay? Okay, baby. Tomorrow I pick everybody up. I pick everybody, you, we, everybody, baby. Yeah, Poppy love you. <laughs> Poppy's gonna get me. Poppy's gonna get me. Stop calling Tommy Poppy. He is not your father. Your father's name is Nito and he lives in Puerto Rico. Uh-uh. My Poppy named Poppy. And and he live in the Bronx. God. You know my Poppy named Poppy. Can you please make Poppy come back so we could be a family again? Like the Donna Ree show. What the hell are you doing here? Take your little ass back home. I can't get far enough away from you kids. I need a break. I need a drink. Hi, Maria Luisa. Don't send us out in our home by ourselves because if the police are in the street, they're gonna put you in jail. <laughs> this ain't none of your business, Fifi. And that's not Fifi. That's her sister, Lulu. <laughs> you see all the trouble you causing me? Come on, let's go. I'm out here on my fire escape. It's my favorite place in the whole wide world. When I'm out here, I pretend. And when I see the planes, I start yelling. Hey, that plane's gonna take me to California. And then sometimes I even pretend that I am the royal princess of El Barrio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
overlooking my kingdom. <laughs> Even if I'm only on the second floor. <laughs> I can see all of New York from here. And when I face downtown, I can see Fifth Avenue all the way down to the village. Now I'm working with Poppy. Remember I told you that Poppy was a very important pimp? He's also a very important number man. <laughs> playing numbers is kind of like playing lottery. Except if you win, you don't got to pay no taxes. <laughs> Pedro's handing Poppy the money. Poppy bends down pretending he's tying his shoes. He hands me the money. I take the money and the slips and I run down the canned good aisles real quick and I put the money in my panties. It's a good thing I got my big cranny panties on. <laughs> I'm doing such a good job working with Poppy that Poppy's taking me to go eat in City Island. It's in the Bronx. Baron, it's too bad you were a girl. Because if you were a boy, I would hand you the business right away, baby. You know, you're the best son I got. <laughs> Mommy, guess what? Poppy's taking me to go eat in City Island. I already made $85 working with Poppy. No, but mommy, I, I was just playing a joke on you, mommy. No, I, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm really not working with Poppy. No. But Poppy was gonna go take me to eat in City Island. Mommy says you gotta bring me home or she's gonna call the police on you. Baby, baby, don't worry about it. You know what? Your mommy's gonna be screaming about it in a few days. She'll, oh, don't worry about it. She'll be talking about how she needs a break from you kids. Poppy, love you. Your mother's a hoe. Yeah, and she get paid for it too. <laughs> but your mama give it for free. <laughs> that make her a stupid poho, huh? Oh. <laughs> so mommy ain't Carol Brady. But at least I got Fifi. And Fifi's like having all my TV parents rolling. <laughs> you don't fit in. Good. And you know why? Because you are an original, like Fifi. <laughs> and when you are an original, you have to be courageous enough to stand alone, you know? You know, people talk about Fifi behind my back, but do I care? No. <laughs> because I am an original. Fifi's always teaching me new things, like setting the table. The plate, it goes in the middle. <laughs> and the utensils, they go on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi's even teaching me how to dress like a lady. <laughs> Dress to impress, not to depress. <laughs> <laughs> and stay away from colors that make you look like, like Bellevue. <laughs> <laughs> when you are ready to wear makeup, I'm going to take you to Bloomingdale's. Makeup is to be defied, not to horrify. <laughs> Fifi's the best parents I've ever had. But I still want the Donna Reed show. Puerto Rico, here we come. Baby, Poppy's taking you to go eat in Old San Juan tonight. But first, I got, I got a little business at this bar. Oh, but I got this bad feeling. I hear you mothers telling me that I'm your father. But I ain't your father. You see, when I first got together with your mother, I was already three months pregnant with you. 
Because I ain't your father. That man, that man, some man is your father, but it ain't me. God. How could Poppy do this to me? Hey, 